talking about culture. Culture as a part of part of identity. Um, that's one of the more impactful parts of, of of anyone's identity because it encompasses a lot of things. So your culture culture includes oral traditions, traditions period, um, art, language. Um, some notes are right, food um so those uh, those things they're that that's a part of everyone's being so you know people like art people like food people like to, to tell to tell to tell stories so whenever um you're looking at a, a person's identity you'll see a lot of their culture 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 comes and comes through it and there's no culture culture that moves the world picture in terms of like world, 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 world culture more than American black culture, which is a good thing. But the bad part, of, part of it is that we don't own it. So when you look at dance, if you look at TikTok, a lot of young black kids create the dances, but a lot of younger non-blacks will take credit for cre cre creating them. If you look at um, mu music, that's an easy one, right? So. You have these young black males, majority making this new new music and create creating interest and re, and uh, re, re, revenue, and then the the uh, the people that the benefit off of it are older non-black people. So that causes a problem with kids' identity because if your culture doesn't have a value that you benefit from, then you start to not have a val a value on the culture. And in turn, you don't have a, val a value on your, your, your own identity. So for us as a culture, like we need to take back more of what we created and then start owning it. And then as people want to access it, there, it, it, you know, it, becomes a, um, it becomes a charge for it or you have to have a value exchange. And it's not just a taking of you know, our culture and you the benefit off of it and then we don't because that's where I think a lot of our young black people are is that we don't have a way that we can create avenues for them to work in the things that they feel that they have ownership over like there's no the music industry anyone that they go to to get hired the majority of the time is going to be a non-black and whether we like it or not the hiring process is an issue of of being familiar with with, with some of her first person racism is there but at the same time if i can identify with a young black male who went through the things i went through then it's going to be he's going to i'm, I'm going to feel more comf comfortable with him and that's already a little bond that we, we we have and if you haven't connected with enough people outside your culture if you're white or black then you won't have the ability to connect with some, someone that's younger and say, oh, I understand what they're about. I'll bring them in. That's just how it is. So we have to do a bit better job as older blacks creating avenues for um, our young to come up through our culture. And we also have to do a better job um, at creating at creating new avenues in the culture. culture, culture.